Maysoon. I'm a member of the Sudanese community. And we're gathered today at the 6th of April to uh, mark the passing of 30 years on the April uh, 1985 revolution, which uh, toppled a uh, military regime. And the people of Sudan, uh, under the uh, guidance of what is known as the Sudanese uh, Professional Association, which is an alliance of uh, unions and professional um, trade, they have agreed uh, that today they will march to the headquarters of the army and uh, they're chanting to uh, topple the Bashir regime, so they're chanting Tosbut Bas, which is just fall, that's all. So we are all, he all here in solidarity uh, with the Sudanese people. Uh, we're the first city to, um, uh, to mark the 6th of April and we're hoping to show solidarity to Sudanese people in Sudan. Where do you think the army will stand? It's pretty similar to what happened in the Arab Spring, so the top, uh, top of the head, the head of the army uh, members have already announced that they're still in alliance with the Bashir regime, but uh, a lot of the, the, like the smaller officers have been showing their uh, support and solidarity with the Sudanese people. A lot of people are expecting that there is an expectation that the Sudanese army today will stand with the Sudanese people, even if it's in the form of the smaller officers in the smaller ranks, uh, because they're tired of being uh, deployed to wars in the, in the west of Sudan, in the southern west of Sudan. And uh, so uh, we are hoping that uh, this will all push them to support the people in Sudan. What are the, I guess, some of the key issues that have sparked these protests now and how can people best give solidarity to this latest struggle? Well, uh, the current protest started in the 19th of uh, December um, and it, uh, it was sparked by a sharp crisis, uh, in, uh, there was a shortage of bread, uh, there is also a crisis in the uh, cash, so there is no cash in Sudan. So um, this sparked the protest and first they started by just uh, demanding this, but when they were first, uh, they were faced by the police and the live bullets and many martyrs fell, uh, it straight away turned into a call for the fall of the current uh, regime. And yes, we understand that there's no coverage, not only in the Australian media, but it finds little interest from the international media as well. No, Sudan is a country that has no oil, that uh, has no influence in, uh, in, in, in like the military alliance in the Middle East or whatever. Uh, but uh, the people of Sudan are standing you know, firm uh, and they are willing and determined to topple the regime. Many people are joining from the cities and the rural areas every day. And uh, the Sudanese community here in Australia has had certain demands which they have presented to the parliament. And one of them is that we suspect that the current regime will try to, uh, you know, like smuggle some of the uh, Sudanese people's, uh, uh, you know, money, try to do some money laundering through Australia, so some some of businesses here, and some people. So we want the government to uh, to keep watch on that, and also we wanted the, the Sudanese ambassador to be questioned about uh, in, in Australia to be questioned about. Uh, what the government is doing and uh, how it's brutally facing the people in Sudan. Thank you. Thank you very much.